this task. We've been out and got this nine millimetre ply board. What we are going to do, we're going to make some ferry boxes for us and a couple of friends, aren't we, Dicks? Yeah. We've got Big Daddy Dicks here helping today. See, because this is some that I made out of the old ply board that I had, but because it's been weathered, it's starting to split and stuff. So, cost I knew that it'd go together, but I thought, ah, feck it, let's go buy a new piece. So, that's exactly what we've done. So, let's get on with it. Jason's brought his sexy little thing down. What's it called? A chalk marker, isn't it? Chalk line. Chalk line. All these strings coated in chalk. Give it a whack, there's your straight line. Do da do da! Look at that! See what I did the other night. I've made loads of templates for the box that I wanted. So there's all the templates. So all we had to do is cut them out. But now we, um, that's like one of the boxes that we're going to make. But we're making it a small now, like a little poacher's bucket. Uh, box, bucket, what the hell's a bucket? Right, this is where we're at now. <clears throat> cut all the pieces out. If you notice, there's blue spray paint on these, because these are going to be the stencil. Because we're going to make a couple. It's made a stencil so we can get these, put them in line, draw them around it, chop them out. Jobs are good on. So put the blue paint on to know that these are the stencil parts. So, next, we're going to use the stencils. And we're going to cut the next box, put the box together. Come on! Moved into the garage now because it's a bit dicky dark. So, these are <clears throat> the new piece of wood that we've got that we used the stencils to cut out. So, we've just got them in place. We're going to move that, Kate. And then move that, and then we're going to put a bit of PVA, was it wood glue, adhesive, straight across there. Then we've got these little tacks here. And there's one that's out of the bag. These little tacks. I'm going to put these across back, so it's glued and nailed. Right, so the back. Right, two minutes because I've got three hands. Right, just tacking it together now. Right, there we go, there's one side on, all glued. Now what we're going to do is the same for the sides, and we'll be back. Right, we've got that box together, just like that. Now all we need to do is put the top on there. Then we're going to cut straight across there, nail that to there. And then that'll be the... No, oh, sorry. No, we're going to cut across here near Lister here and then this is going to be the door so woohoo right now we've got it cut put a bit of glue on just there uh, just there uh, I'm going to put some tacks in it now so I don't have a third hand so you're going to have to just wait right got that brown where's lid key right that's how it's going to go we're going to get some of the thinner the ply board around that for the bow back and there's a lid. Oh, oh, come on, oh, go on, open it. Go on, Kate. Oh, look at that. So now what we're waiting for, we've ordered some um, inches off eBay. And we've got a little lasp coming as well. So going to get that whack on it. And look at that. Yes, you fucker. Ferry box. Go on. Right, for some reason, I forgot to like record all the videos. So we're going to skip a little bit. Make a little bit of edit videos. So we've got some ply board now. Is it two and a half mil for the back? The backing. All we did, cut it the side of the box. Obviously a little bit bigger because of the bore. And then we pinned it and uh, glued it and pinned it. So we'll go see the finished product. Right. This is one of the boxes I've made. I'm going to sand these nails down. the screws down here. But we've got the little lasps on here that come from me bit. And we've also we also made a little stencil. Got a picture printed, cut around the paper, and then we cut it into some plastic. I used a, uh, what did I use for the plastic? I used an uh, ice cream lid, and cut around it with a scalpel. And yeah, then we've got some yacht varnish. We finished it off with three layers of yacht varnish, so they're going to last a long while. Yeah, so we glued and pinned the back for the nice bow. Only thing we've got left to do now is drill the holes, 
because um, we're going to use seat belt for the straps. So I think they've turned out all right. So we've got a couple of different styles. We've got the double box with two single compartments. And then in here, we've got some here just drying. We've got the single box. There's another one there, look. So there's the single boxes. One for Lurch, one for Stag's Head. We've got the triple box. But this is going to be two compartments. I haven't put the hinges on yet. That's for the ferrets. Then in the middle, you can either put a little ferret or we made this so you can put your nets and your locator in there. And then we've got another double, double box. But this is a double without the compartments. So yeah, I think they've turned all right. They look all right, don't they? A few different styles, couple of ideas, you know what I mean? They've all got the bows. Got a couple dry in there. This is Jack's that he made himself. But yeah, I think they look all right myself. So, jobs are good un. Thanks for watching.